In this example, we're going to look at electric potential. Specifically, we're going to convert an expression for electric potential into one for electric field. So, I give you some electric potential in some region of space. That's this expression in the middle of the slide. And I ask you, what is the electric field at the origin? So, let's get started and just jump right into the math. So, first things first, we remember that the electric field is related to the potential by the minus gradient operator, where the gradient is defined as the partial derivative with respect to x in the x hat, plus partial derivative with respect to y in the y hat, plus partial derivative with respect to z in the z hat. So if we rewrite that second expression, we will get minus dv dx, minus dv dy, minus dv dz, all in their respective directions. And now, this is just a math problem. Let's just take each term and look at it individually. So dv dx, if you just take the derivative of that very first expression with respect to x, you get 8 plus 2y. If you take the derivative of the first expression with respect to y, you get 2x minus 3z. And if you take the derivative with respect to z, you get minus 3y. And now, uh, we have an expression for each of those three pieces, we can plug in uh, the point zero, zero, zero. That is the origin itself, right? So x equals zero, y equals zero, and z is equal to zero. And so you're gonna see that every one of those terms cancels out except for uh, eight in dv dx. And so finally, your answer is going to be e is equal to minus, don't forget the minus sign in front of everything, eight in the x hat direction. Newtons per coulomb. So just a few final thoughts. Uh, a gradient is essentially three derivatives, one in each spatial direction, as you saw in this example. And hopefully you notice that just because the electric potential is zero at a given point, the field may or may not be zero. In this case, at the origin, the electric potential is zero if you plugged in zero, zero, zero. But the field is uh, minus eight Newtons per coulomb in the x hat direction. And finally, watch your negative signs. Negative signs will uh, come back and trip you up all the time, so it's good to double check that your math is correct.